Okay, let's look at lesson 36 in Saxon's Algebra 1 3rd edition textbook. And <clears throat> this lesson is on the distributive property of rational expressions that contain positive exponents, minus signs, and negative exponents. Okay, so a couple of different things going on here, um, but we'll take them one at a time and we'll get through it. Okay, so um, I found this little um, illustration online. I thought, okay, well, that's exactly what we need to do. So I can just um, put it on here and then I can explain it and not have to write anything. All right, so when I say ac squared times axc, I'm going to get a squared because a times a is a squared. c is going to be cubed and then I've got that x and then b times b is b squared. Then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm distributing this over this. And then I'm going to get 4ac squared over b times b squared is b cubed. And then finally, minus. Now remember, this is a whole number here. It's not written as a fraction, but we can make it a fraction and we're going to need to because we're multiplying fractions here. All right, so 2 a c cubed x over b times 1 is b. This would be your final answer to a problem like this. All right, so let's go to the next page. All right, it says use the distributive property to expand. I've done that for you. X squared times X squared is X to the fourth. Y squared times Y is Y cubed. All right, so I've distributed it here. Now let's distribute it over this one. Three X squared Y cubed over Y squared M. All right, now what did I do here? This one stays the same but this one looks a little different. What looks different? Well, I could simplify. You always want to simplify if you can because I've got Y on the bottom and Y on the top. I only need Y to be in one place. So if I were to bring this two up, remember that it changes sign so it becomes negative two, and then I have three minus two is Y to the first, or simply Y. And that is as simplified as it's going to get. All right, let's go ahead and work one together. Okay, so m times axp is maxp over zmk. And then let's distribute it here. Minus 2, let's make this a fraction m to the fourth times m is m to the fifth p to the fourth over one times z is z and i really don't have anything else that i can simplify here so in this problem I've, i'm done this is my final answer okay go to the next page All right, so minus signs and negative exponents. Here we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six different expressions. And it may look like different ways of writing the same thing, but it really is not. And it, here's where I'm gonna tell you, it really, really matters that you put parentheses around a protected negative sign. It makes all the difference in the world in your answer. All right, so let's start up here with the easy, the stuff you already know. 4 squared is 16. All right, 4 to the negative second means I need to make that positive. So I'm going to have to put it under the fraction. And then I have 1 over 4 squared, which is 1 over 16. Here, I've got an unprotected negative sign. All right, so it's going to stay, it's going to attach to whatever my final answer is. 
4 squared is 16, and then I attach this negative. But here, this negative goes with this 4. So it means that when I square that 4, I'm squaring not just 4, like I did here, I'm squaring the whole thing, the negative 4. So it's negative 4 times negative 4, which we know is positive 16. So see what a big difference it made having those parentheses there? All right, look at this one, negative 4 to the negative second. Again, I've got to make this positive, so I'm going to have to put it under the fraction and put 1 over 4 squared. But again, this is going to stay. It's going to attach to my answer because I'm not squaring negative 4. I'm only squaring 4. And then I've got, I end up with negative 1 over 16. Here, I've got just the opposite, just like up here. Negative 4 to the negative second. I have 1 over negative 4 is what's going to be squared. And that would be 1 over positive 16. All right, let's go on and uh, work some practice problems. Okay, let's do uh, the first one, A, and this is, again, distributive property of rational expressions. So I'm going to distribute this term over this and over this. All right, so x squared times x squared, it gives us x to the fourth, and y times y is y squared minus 3 x squared y squared over y m. Now I'm not quite finished because I've got a y here and one here. So if I were to take this one and move it up, y to the first minus 1, that would get rid of this and it would leave me with 3x squared 2 minus 1 is 1, y over m. And then I'm just going to bring this one down. And this would be my final answer. You have to simplify, okay? You can't not simplify your answer. It won't be correct. All right, go to the next uh, page. All right, in this one, I'm going to distribute three times. And here, in this middle term, because it's not a fraction, I'm just going to go ahead and make it a fraction. All right, so first term, a x m squared over a b to the third minus 3 a times a is a squared b m over b squared plus 6 a m squared over b to the fourth. All right, now if you're paying attention, you're going to see there's a couple of places where I need to simplify. First of all, a over a cancel each other out because it's like saying 1 over 1. That's just 1. a over a equals 1. So you don't need it there. So this one simplifies to x m squared over b cubed. All right, and then here you see I've got b squared here and b up here. All right, if I want to keep everything positive, and I think for right now I do, I'm going to bring this one down and make it um, it's positive up here, so it's going to be a negative 1 down here. So b squared minus 1, the 2 minus 1, would be simply b on the bottom. And then I've got 3a squared m on the top because I got rid of this b, brought it down. It was positive before I moved it. Then it became negative. And 2 minus 1 um, is just the 1b. All right, this one doesn't have anything in it that can be simplified. So I simply bring it down and leave it like it was. 
and this then is my final answer. Okay, good job. Let's go to the next one. Okay, um, this is the second part of your lesson, the minus signs and uh, negative exponents. All right, so look at this uh, in C. We've got a negative sign that is not protected. So what this is really saying is four to the negative second. Well, to make this a positive exponent, I have to put it under a 1, 4 to the second, but this negative is going to stay and attach. So, 4 squared is 16, and it's going to be negative 1 over 16. Alright, look at D. In D, I've got <clears throat> the same thing, only opposite. This one, my negative exponent's on the bottom, so I'm going to need to bring it up top. And then I'm going to have negative 4 squared. This is not in parentheses, so I'm only squaring the 4, which is 16. Then this negative is going to come back and attach, and that is my answer. Alright, let's get even a little bit more fancy down here. I've got this one that's not protected, and this one that is, and then I've got a negative exponent. So let's write this with um, getting rid of the negative exponent first. So I have to put that under a 1 because it was a whole number to start with. Alright, so negative 4 cubed. That's negative 4 times negative 4, which is positive 16, times negative 4 is negative 64. And then this one comes back in, and it's going to make it positive 64. Good job. All right. So then this one looks very different, right? I'm going to have to bring this up, make this a whole number, so I've got negative, negative 4 cubed, and I know that <clears throat> negative 4 cubed is negative 64, and this is going to come back and attach, making it 64. 64 is my answer. Alright, good job and <clears throat> join me tomorrow for lesson 37.